Because you, you don't run up on a player like me. I'm like the Brown John Wayne. Like, you can get around. You can get around. You can get around. I keep that thing on me. What's up, Wolf Packers? It's your boy, Wolf Doggy Dog. Do not try to adjust your screen. Yes, it's me. I did adjust my mustache. I'm like the Arthur Morgan of YouTube. You never know what you're going to get. I might just switch up and have a completely different facial hair feature tomorrow. So tune in and see what we got. We've got a lot to talk about today, guys. Before we get started, let me remind you guys to drop us a like if you're enjoying this review, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and share us with the homies. There's a lot of stuff to talk about today, guys. Disney is right around the corner from opening back up. So question of the day, when Disney opens back up, are you going back to Disneyland? Comment below, question of the day. I'm, I'm really thinking about doing a pros and cons video about Disneyland uh reopening up disney as a whole reopening up leave a comment below if you guys want to see that moving on i went to ross today and found a couple little steals let me let me throw the arthur morgan back on this of course is not the first time that i've donned the cowboy hat nerf rival rounds up until the appearance of the nerf ultra the rivals were the elite rounds for the nerf uh fastest hitting hardest hitting look at that you hear that? That's a that's a misfire. If this were a real gun, I'd I'd be short a finger right now. But yeah, these are these are some of the hardest hitting, fastest shooting guns in Nerf until the elites. I went to Ross today. Check this out: thirty rounds Nerf Ultra, one ninety nine for thirty rounds. This is a steal and a half. I should be wearing I should be wearing a mask because I stole these. For $1.99, 30 rounds, you're looking at $10 at least to buy these rounds. But that ain't it, guys. If I'm going to steal, I'm going to steal good. Check this out. 80 rounds, Target exclusive. Check that out. I paid dirt cheap. $6.99 for 80 rounds. These are really good. Say you're going to a party, say you're going to a nerf battle, and you have a particular type of round, you can tell your rounds from everyone else's. And Rivals sells different colors. There's the red and yellow stripes. There's the red and black stripes. There's these orange. There's the grays. There's tons of these other options because, of course, everyone's going to buy different things. And you can tell your rounds apart from Little Tommy's or Little Timmy's or Esteban or whoever it is that you're playing with. If you're a fan of the channel, you know that I like to save you guys a couple bucks everywhere. Ross, guys, you cannot beat this. $2 for 30 rounds, $7 for 80 rounds. I, I, I have to wear a mask to, to get these kind of steals before. Moving on, let's see what you guys came here for. You clicked on the link today. We have got the Arkham Asylum Joker. Big shout out to Ruby's 12 Angels. Go give her a follow up. Put her Instagram right down here. Ruby's 12 Angels, big fan of the show. I keep saying this, but birthday, birthday gift keeps coming in for me. My birthday was in March. Um, this was a pre-order. She had it on pre-order way, way back, the little sneak. With me, I wasn't going to pre-order this guy. I said, if I can find him in the store, I'm going to let fate decide whether I get him or not. I didn't I didn't find him in the store. The whole COVID thing happened. I'm not going to the stores, guys. It's not worth it for me. So I, I'll do everything online. But I didn't pre-order him. Uh, lo and behold, uh, Ruby's 12 Angels did put this one on pre-order for me. And it finally came in. What do you guys say we get him out of the box and enter him into the world? I like the fan art on the boxes because say from the side you could tell them apart what else has been coming out for this mcfarlane wave that's kind of been kicking butt in my mind animated series we've got pudding we've got his pudding actually this is the animated harley quinn from the animated series near and dear to my heart a show that i loved since a wee wee boy and still love today speaking of batman the animated series we've got Batman the Animated Series, McFarland. Big upper torso, little teeny tiny legs. I want to get this guy open pretty soon. And like I said, super cool box art on the side. It makes it so when they're sitting in shelves like that, you can tell apart what is what from what. Another one that's next on the list on future shows, we've got 
Superman the Animated Series. Again, with the big torso, got the, look, look at that face cut. That is right out of the animated series for these, both of these. It's the same body mold, you can tell that. Steven Wonder can see that that's the same exact body mold, but look at the face sculpts. That's right out of the animated series. Ditto for Bruce Wayne over here. Super cool, I wanna get these guys open, but more so I wanna get Harley open and pair her up with her pudding. Of course, they're not the same ones, they don't sync up. What does that tell me? That tells me that this one will soon have a Harley Quinn. This is from the Arkham Asylum video game. And there's also a live animated, or not a live animated, sorry, from an animated series. So it's kind of an amalgamation. If you don't know what that means, it's kind of a mix of the two. But let's just, let's get this guy open and unleash him into the real world. Cannot wait. Let's get to the studio, guys. Deuces. Back in studio, guys. We got Mr. J open and out of the box. What do you guys think? Got the 357, comes with two different chattering teeth, pinstripes, he's got the lapel, he's got the dead flower, don't get too close because he will squirt you. Look at that head sculpt. Tons of detail to this guy at a price point of $19.99. I am very impressed by this guy. Now my whole stance on McFarlane before this DC takeover that they did was that they had really good detail but lacked a ton in articulation. Very happy with the product. I'm gonna say it right now, figure of the year. He's my early vote, unless somebody comes out and just really blows me out of the park. I'm sure that Punisher on the Rider series, when that comes out, might wanna sway my vote. But so far, he's my vote for figure of the year. He comes with two shattering teeth. They don't open, that's probably why they give you two, so that you've got an open and a closed, and then the little turn valve. I, I thought they, they rotated, but don't spin them too hard. You'll crack them open. I throw these at you and just... Good detail on those. And then we've got the stand with the DC logo. As you can see, you don't need it to get them to stand up, but if you want to get them in a real dynamic pose, these help. It's got the DC logo. These are standard for anything from this wave. Well, what about the heater? Let's check that thing out. It's pretty sweet. It's a 357 style Python type revolver. How realistic do we think this one looks? I, I'm going to say it's, you know, it's comic book based, so it's not going to be 100%. This one came from Union Jack, Marvel Legends. Now this one actually looks more accurate to a 357, but I would say that that one looks a little better. I would probably prefer having this one on my figures in this one. The Fortnite series, this one came off the Prisoner. This, I, I wouldn't say this is a 357. This is more like a Sam Colt type older Western gun. It's a decent enough gun. I don't, I don't hate it. I actually kind of like it. There's a slight barreling to it. So you could even get the, uh, the bang coming out if you're crafty enough. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you guys can figure out how to do that. What do we think of this head scope? I think it's pretty good. Uh, I remember reading back in 2009 when the Arkham Asylum game came out, not even reading online because I'm an old man. I read in a Game Informer, the developers, when they were talking about uh, designing the Joker, they wanted it to have a Heath Ledger look to it. But they were also trying to get away from out of the Heath Ledger shadow, Dark Knight coming out the year before. So it's got it's got hints of Heath Ledger, but they also wanted to do their own thing with it. And I like that, that's okay. So if you checked out our last video, you saw that we pulled two spawns out from a Target exclusive. We're gonna be giving this one away as soon as we hit 500. So tell, tell all your buddies, as soon as we hit 500, we're gonna offer this one up on the Instagram. To your friends, to your mama, to your grandmama. To your grandmama not to be shy. There's tons of grandmas that watch me. I'm your grandmama's favorite YouTuber. So I brought out all the Jokers that I own. And little by little, I'm building up my Joker gang. I would say don't try to rush out and buy things after market just to compensate and try to beef up your numbers. There's a lot of Jokers coming out right now. We've got this one. There's a Jack Napier coming out. 
I'm sure McFarlane has a bunch of different things. When McFarlane got the contract for DC, DC told them that nothing is out of the limits. So we will be getting ridiculous variants of Batman, Robin, Superman, and what have we. So enough about all that, guys. Let's get into his articulation. 360. You can go that far up. That far down. 360. Uh, it's not a full-blown butterfly joint, but there is an extra added flex. And then he's got the joint there. Bicep swivel. Double jointed at the elbows. You've got rotation at the wrist as well as a hinge. I love that little lapel thing. I know that's not a lapel. It's like his cuff. That's He looks like Lestat from Interview with the Vampire. My idiot friend. We're in a nice filthy cemetery. Does this make you happy? Is this? He can go 360 at the waist. Soft pliable rubber. So it hides the joint. Uh, if you press down, you can, you can feel the gaps. But that's what gives him his, his flex as well as... The rotation so uh they're, they're doing a really good job by hiding it you know uh with marvel and their whole uh no pin technology get this guy that far away you cannot tell where the joints are where the seams are this is almost statuesque good that th this is how much i'm liking this figure right now it's it's pretty good soft pliable rubber on the uh on the coattails so you can kind of you know if you're doing any kind of crazy thing like that so double jointed at the knees, kicks out that far, kicks forward that much, uh, kicks back that far. There's no rotation at the calf. You got slight rotation. Well, you got 360 rotation. I love the shoes too, good detail. And then you've got toe articulation as well as peg holes on the bottom for said stand. Real quick, I want to recant my question of the day. Having all this out here, it made me wonder why I didn't ask this question. But who is your favorite Joker, cinematic or otherwise? Think about it for a second. Don't just shout it out. There have been some really good actors that have donned the role. I'm even going to throw Cameron Monaghan in there. He played the Joker for a bunch of seasons on Gotham. He's got as much of a right to exist as any of these guys do. Hopefully you guys are still tuned in and haven't clicked away. I really want to hear what you guys think about your favorite Joker. Comment below, please. Uh, don't forget, once we get to the 500 mark, this guy will be going up for grabs. He could be in your pocket as soon as we hit 500. All right, guys, that's going to do it. As always, I'm going to ask you guys to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Feel free to drop a like if you guys enjoyed this review. Please, please, please comment below. Let me know who your favorite Joker is. Share us with the homies. We will catch you on the next one. Deuces.